Hello everyone and welcome to Nutrition Simplified. Today we're going to look at the quite complicated concept of diabetes. And I'm going to try and simplify things for you just to get a better understanding and more of a grasp on it. And today we're going to look at the two main types of diabetes, diabetes type 1 and type 2. So diabetes type 1 is something called an autoimmune disease which occurs when the immune system attacks and destroys the insulin producing cells in the pancreas called beta cells. Type 1 diabetes can occur at any age. Type 2 diabetes occurs when the body becomes resistant to insulin or doesn't produce enough insulin to regulate blood sugar levels. Now this type of diabetes is often linked to a lifestyle or family history and typically develops in adults over the age of 40. And treatment of type 2 diabetes involves lifestyle changes such as regular exercise, a healthy diet and weight loss. So now you kind of know what they are. What does this actually mean in the real world? Well, let's look at a car. You put fuel into a car, petrol or diesel or whatever. The fuel goes to the engine and the engine gets things moving like the wheels and the car goes. For our bodies, the fuel is the food or more specifically the glucose that comes from the food. And we have an organ in our body called the pancreas, which is kind of like the engine. The pancreas makes something called insulin, which are like these little keys. And these little keys go with the glucose and what we've got from the food and go to our body's cells. Now these cells are like locks. And the insulin is the key to unlock the cells so the glucose can get in and the cells can have enough energy to do their job. In type 1 diabetics, their pancreas isn't really working right. It's not making enough or sometimes no insulin at all. This means that when you eat food, the glucose can't get to the cells to give them that energy. And that's why type 1 diabetics need to give themselves insulin, usually with a special shot or a little machine. In type 2 diabetics, it's a little different. So type 2 diabetics have a lot of the keys, so a lot of insulin, in their bodies. But the locks or cells don't always want to open very easily. So it's like having a, a big bunch of keys, but the locks are just that little bit rusty and stuck and the keys don't fit very well. The insulin resists on the cell, also known as insulin resistance. And so even if there's plenty of insulin, the glucose will have a hard time getting into the cells. Good news here, though, is that with a little bit of help, like eating healthy foods, staying active, and just making better lifestyle changes, you can make the locks work much better. So now you have plenty of keys and the locks work much better and everything works just fine. Type two diabetics just need to be a little bit more careful about what they eat and to stay active. So why do people with diabetics need to be careful with what they eat? Now, think of your body as a seesaw and you want to keep everything just balance you want to keep your body balanced when you eat sugary things like sweets cakes it can cause a little spike in your blood sugar level it's like suddenly adding weight to one side of the seesaw and it's off balance for most people their body can quickly adjust and just bring the blood sugar levels back to normal but for people with diabetes especially if it's not well controlled it can be harder for their bodies to do this for type 1 diabetics, they typically need to take insulin because their bodies don't produce it. They must match their insulin doses with the amount of carbs they eat. Carbs are found in foods like bread, pasta, rice, fruits, sweets, donuts, cakes, etc. They need to be consistent with their carb intake to keep their blood sugar stable and the seesaw level. Now type 2 diabetics often have insulin resistance, so their bodies don't use insulin effectively. It's important here to focus on a balanced diet that includes whole grains, lean proteins and healthy fats. With this, portion control is essential and eating large quantities of food, especially in high carbs or high sugar foods, can cause these blood sugar spikes and the seesaw to be unbalanced. So diabetics will often carry around Lucozade or Jelly Babies. 
Well, if their blood sugar gets too low and the seesaw goes the other way, they may need a quick source of sugar to bring that back up to a safe level. It's all about finding the right balance and keeping your blood sugar levels in a safe range. So what about fruits? They're just sugar. So the thing about fruits is that although they have sugars too, you're also eating other stuff. Fiber, as an example. The fiber in the fruit, such as the skin, helps slow down how the sugar gets into the blood. So it's more of a steady and slow release of energy. It's still a good idea though to pay attention to how much fruit you eat and not eat too much all at once. So ladies and gentlemen, that's been Diabetes Nutrition Health Fitness Simplified. Thank you so much. I've been Ashley Hawksworth and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.